barbecue. Just gotta find somewhere to park now. We've got to park it in Morrison's car park. <laughs> Better at your quick. Do you, uh, do you, what's that? Yes, I am. You got me. All right, this is it. Uncle Sam's F, what does the FB stand for? It means football. Ah, oh, because wood, wood feed an American football team. What was that, 15 people? I, don't know, I hope it's not that big. <laughs> That's mad. It was like brilliant sunshine when I left. What, like ever? That's a South African accent, right? Yeah. You ready for this? Right, I think I'd like to take a trip to Joburg, mate. Is that all right? It's all right, it's a bit off You got like seven out of 10? Six. Six out of 10. I'm gonna try and get out of your way. You gotta take this, you gotta take this down some stairs. <laughs> I take skill. <laughs> down into the basement. I assume you're sitting right here. Perfect, yeah. Right, so it costs um, 25 quid, yeah. 25 minutes. If you finish, there is a, you told me there's a t-shirt, yeah? Yeah, there's a free t-shirt. Do you have one in size medium? Yes. Yeah, there is a medium. Yes. You think I can do it? Yes. Yeah, that's just because you've seen my videos. Yeah. <laughs> you want to give a shout out to your boyfriend? You see your boyfriend's a big fan? Yeah, Caden Goff, shout out to you. Love you, babe. Right, are you gonna, are you gonna give me a three, two, one then? Yeah, okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'll do the Who's gonna? Yeah, three, two, one. One, go. Save the onion rings for the end. Never seen a lettuce leaf on top of a burger before. That's interesting. First time for everything, eh? What's up, Benami? Welcome back to our... Oh, I forgot to do that nonsensical sound. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, yeah, of course, welcome to another video. Today I'm at a place called Ginger's Barbecue in Chesterfield. They spell gingers with a, a Z on the end instead of an S. Always a, a classy move to intentionally misspell a word with a Z. <laughs> no, I, I'm Josh, and, and today we're doing the Uncle Sam's Burger Challenge, which consists of four premium beef patties, twice smoked honey pulled bacon, cheese goo, maple, and bourbon Tennessee barbecue 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 sauce, and uh, a bunch of chips and onion rings too. It's a messy one. It's delicious though. What is this, ham hock? That is nice. Ooh, did you catch that slurp? Music to your ears, I'm sure. But yeah, this is a soggy one. Lots of sauce on here. And that's no bad thing because the, uh, the barbecue sauce here is fantastic. Apparently, they make it with maple syrup, which gives it a, a pretty unique fruity edge. And there's hot sauce on here too. Fortunately, not particularly hot, hot sauce. Not hot sauce. Let's call it that. That is a tasty burger. It's a bit hot though, so I'm gonna start on the chips. Momentarily turned into Samuel L. Jackson from Pulp Fiction there for a second. Mmm, that is a tasty burger. I'm not lying though, it was a good burger. I, I, I can't fault it. This is an absolutely egregious amount of chips. <coughs> Word of the day, egregious. Let's throw it over to Susie Dent in Dictionary Corner to provide us with a definition. <laughs> egregious used here to denote something shamefully bad or appalling. And I don't mean the quality, I just mean, you know, it's a complete tray full of fries. And uh, they, they had some, what felt like some kind of Cajun herb on them. Which meant that after, I don't know, what, six, even six minutes, six, seven minutes, they were starting to scuff up the inside of my gob. So, not the most pleasant things to eat. But thankfully, uh, I didn't mention this at the start, this whole thing's accompanied by coleslaw. Which, again, I, I'm not the, the, the biggest fan of, but this was kind of like a deli slaw. Had a, a slightly mustardy vibe to it. And uh, you get quite a bit of it, which did help in uh, sending those chips down their merry way through the uh, digestive tract. I'm mixing things up today. We're, we're, we're kind of looking at my face. <laughs> Did not look particularly happy there. But yeah, we're, we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go between the burger and the chips. It'll be all right. I think there could be something in this whole mixing it up tactic. 
not so much a tactic as just basic common sense. Yeah, it, normally I would do things item by item, but I, I don't know. Today, I, I, I guess I just wanted to feel what it's like to, to eat like a, a, a normal person. <laughs> so we're mixing things together. Not even Mrs. Beard would find this amount of relentless potato enjoyable. <sighs> yeah, it's true. She, she loves a carb or two, but uh, this, this takes the biscuit. Still, it's the game. That's what we're here for. And uh, it wouldn't be the first time, uh, you know, a place is loaded up on fries. It's not as bad as that time at the Hard Rock Hotel. Well, there's definitely enough chips to feed an American football team. <laughs> yeah, that might be an exaggeration. I'm not entirely sure there are 15 portions of, of fries here. Still, hyperbole is what we, what we do over here. And by the way, who is impressed with my American football knowledge? I can already see there are probably some people that have gone down in the comments already and said, yeah, there are actually 11 people in an American football team. But I was, uh, I was including the four potential substitutes, making a squad of, of, of 15. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I, there are two teams technically, or three teams, offense, defense, special teams. I don't know. I don't know why I got into this line of discussion. <laughs> That's a relief. Yeah, I might, I might do this more often, you know, rather than just attack the burger in full at the start. I might leave a little bit of it behind, you know, something a little bit saucy to go back to amidst all the, uh, you know, the sides, the starchy stuff. And this burger was great. I, I, I can't fault it. I really enjoyed it. I love the ham hock on top of the burgers instead of a more customary bacon. More places should do that. Yeah, I think this could be the first time I've ever had... I don't know if you call it ham hock, they call it pulled bacon, but to me that's... I don't know, shredded gammon, you could call it all kinds of stuff. Some kind of pork on top, which isn't, you know, crusty and, and leathery, which bacon can be sometimes if it's a bit overdone. And I think this kind of... this fits in with the, the general texture of the burger a, a little bit nicer. I'm glad I left the onion rings to the end because they are very nice. Nice indeed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you at the next one! Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. Yeah, there were a lot of chips there. There you go. Oh, thank you. I've got a chip stuck. <laughs> Do you have a dessert menu? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, the t-shirt too. Unfortunately, we only have a large. I thought you would have like, it's cool. I, I never wear them anyway. I'm gonna just display them somewhere. But I thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Did fill, uh, well, no, I didn't fill the hole. I can't lie, but you know, it was, it was I'm good. not gonna look behind that door. It didn't all behind there, am I? You're not chucked it. Go, <laughs> go look. <laughs>